in the previous video we have seen that how to edit the item after submission now in this video we are going to see if any item by mistake is submitted to the collection and you don't want that item to be displayed in this space so suppose you are willing to delete or expunge it from the database how we can do that so in this video you are we are going to discuss how we can expunge any submitted item or delete from the repository and also there is an uh, means possibility that after expunging how to reinstate that particular item in this space so let's see how we can do this we are going to discuss now how to expunge or delete an item from the collection or how to withdraw any item from the collection the difference between withdraw and delete in this space is that when you withdraw any item from collection in this space you can reinstate it and get it back because it does not get deleted permanently from the database but if you delete the item with ID from database permanently it will get deleted from the database permanently and later you cannot use the same ID handle ID and also you will not able to restore your deleted item so let's see how we can expunge the item and how we can withdraw the item so for that I need to log in first with my email I user ID and password and then I'll go to administer and when I go to administer again I have to search the item so as I did in the previous step I remember my ID so I'll find the article the item which I want to expunge or withdraw from the collection so first let me show you that how to withdraw an item from the collection so you can see at the right side there are uh, more actions given so to withdraw just click on withdraw option so directly it will not be withdrawn from the collection it is asking me whether you really want to withdraw yes withdraw I confirmed it and now you go log out and make do searching search the same record and you will not get the item which was submitted in the previous steps why because we have withdrawn from the collection you see here now it is showing the zero item in the main community why because we have withdrawn the item from the collection now let's see how we can restore it so again I'm going to log in with my user ID and password and I'll reach here administer and go to item again and since I am aware of my ID so I'll find the record and you can see earlier it was coming withdraw now it is showing reinstate the meaning of reinstate is that you have to get your item in the previous state so you have to click on reinstate and now if you go and log out just refresh the page and see the change it may take some time because it gets indexed after submission yes it has been shown in the collection so one document which was withdrawn again is back to your collection so this was the process of editing uh, withdrawing an item and reinstating an item from the collection let's go and see how to delete an item from the record but be careful when you delete the item it cannot be restored after deletion so just log in here and when you log you log in go to administer and again go to the item and since I'm aware of my ID so I'll just enter here 
and I'll reach to the same window where I was in previous window so there is an option delete or expunge I will show you this at the end of the video because I want to show you some other option like move item make item private and other options also so delete option will be discussing later in this let us see how we can move one item it's a very good uh, facility given in the D space that suppose by mistake you have added one item to one collection internally you can internally you can move the collection from one uh, item from one collection to another collection so right now this collection is in e newsletter if i want to move to d space workshop videos so simply i will select and click on move now you can notice that it is showing in d space workshop videos again you go to move item and you move the item from d space workshop videos to e newsletter so it will change to another collection the uh, collection where you move the file so this is the simple process by mistake if you, have, if you have added any item to any collection and later you remember that this item should go to that collection so internally you can transfer the item from one collection to another collection let us see another option that is the make item private what it does it will hide the document from public and make it private with your user ID and password you can browse it so just click on make item private and the same way as it was asking to withdraw it is asking to make it private you just click on make item private and now log out just refresh refresh the page come down and now you can see this item is hidden in the database it is not being shown to the public let me log in with my user ID and search the document I cannot see here also because it has been made private so this is also one option to use now let us go back to administer and again we will make the item public so I know my ID of the item and see here earlier it was coming make item private now it is coming make item public so you just click on this and now when you refresh the page you will see the change the item is back to your repository yes you can see here initially it takes a fraction of second or a minute to index the D space so this is the process of making the item private and public now let us see the another option that is the delete option the authorization part I will discuss when I discuss the access control now if I go to delete option so it will ask me it will confirm me whether you want to delete it permanently yes I want to delete this item from my repository and now if I log out you can notice that the item has been permanently deleted and I cannot get it back to my repository you see here it has been permanently deleted from the 
repository. So hope I have been able to make you understand how to make the item private and public, how to delete the item from the repository and we are going to see many more videos about some other features of DSpace in next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please stay with Librarian Guide to get updated about more videos. Thank you very much.